Hello amazing people, welcome to my channel. My name is Jamako. Today I want to show you how to come about designing a birthday flyer using Photoshop. So you can see this design. I'm going to tell you step by step on how to achieve a flyer like this. The concept I went behind it. So without much, let's get into it. Where you are using Photoshop, you can also use Corel Draw for this type. So let's go on. So the first thing first, I'm going to be creating a new page, a new blank document. So make sure it's on pixel. That's the size I use. I will use the width 1165 and also the height. 1414. So resolution 200, 8 bits, and um, if it's okay. So once our page is on, so you can see our page. So I have some background that I'll be using. I'm going to be pinning down the resource on this video so you can check. The description to get the results. So I'll bring this first into my page. Once it's there, you hit OK. So now I'm going to scale this. You scale it to fit your page. So I want to use these as our background. So I'm going to add a blur to this image. So we'll go to filter, filter blur. And that blur, we go to the Cajun blur. So we'll increase the radius. Let's say, uh, it's okay. Let's add a little bit. Let's say 45. So you can check which one is good for you. So I, I leave it at 45. I'm going to be bringing in the our uh, image. So I have the image here. So we place it here. So the next thing to do. I'll be duplicating this image. First of all, let me scale. So I'll be needing this, the ground part of this image and some parts of the image. So what I'll do, I'm going to duplicate, drag and drop here. So I'll have it. So I'll scale these a little bit. I'll bring it down here. So I'll still duplicate this. And now I'll pull the background of the first one, uh, the upper one. I'll remove the background. Once I remove the background, let me remove the background. So guys, background removed from the upper layer. So you hit the second one, the second layer, and add the max. Then you hit, use your brush tool. With the brush tool, you just clean some part of this image. Yeah, that you can see. Yeah. So that be. Make sure We're going to be adding still a layer here. 
as a brown. Well, let me remove this. We also click on the add a max and you clean some parts. So guys, you can see what I've done. So for this, that image behind, we restorize. Then I want to clean that the lead parts of the image. So you. I like the area and then move to a side like that. So guys, that's it. So guys, if you are done with that, the scale a little bit. So you hold the shift and click on the two layers. Then you want to expand a little bit. That's your image. And scaling. So as it's done, you bring in the other image, that's the bigger image, to the image. They so place it behind your design. Let me bring it again. So you can see the scale and place it at this side. So guys, to avoid time wasting, let me bring uh an image from my design that I've already removed the background. I'm going to be picking this. Picking this from my design. I'll place it here. So background already removed. So I'm just giving you the tips on how I achieved that. So you place it there. Then what I did next was to bring in this pillar. So I'm bringing the pillar or this hat here, any of them. So once you bring in a pillar, you place it at the position you want it to be. You scale uh, remove the background after removing the background. We don't want it to be gold, we want it to be as uh, the color of a flute or the background. So you just change the hue and saturation. You go to view and saturation, and then you pin it to the Pillar alone, then pick a color that's 
Milo. So you look for you look for the saturation, the hue, play around with the color, get that you can see. Amazing. Then you move the background. So but I'm going to my image, my design and pick the pillar already removed uh, background but I place on my design so guys you can see so the next thing I want to do guys is to show you how I came about this um, right up on this hat here so what I did I went to my browser and I prompt uh, chat GPT to give me words happy words for birthday congratulatory words so 100 words you go there type in give me 100 words so ChatGPT created those words. So I went to what at this website, what at. So if you go to wordads.com, you type in uh, those words you generated from ChatGPT. You pick a shape, can be a square, it can be rectangle. What have you? So we have those words there. You paste them into this uh, word art and you generate using the shape that you want to use. You can see you add the words from here and the shape, you pick a shape that you want your words to flow through. So you can custom your own shape and import them into this. So once you have those you choose your colors and then you visualize. Once you visualize, it gives you the words like this. So guys, I think that those are the tips that I have for you on this design. You can see I brought in my flares. So once you bring in a flare, it can be as normal as this. You bring it in, then you change the, the blend mode, which is screen. Then you, you align. So basically, guys, you type in your words. Think of the concept behind this design, guys. Uh, guys, this is not a step-by-step -step, um, tutorial for beginners. It's just a tip that you can use for as you go about designing. So uh, now you've learned how to at least change the hue and set up a design like this. Generate words. How you can align those words like this. I think those are the tips I have for you on this design. So guys. See you next time and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more and more content like this. See you next time. My name is Jamako. Don't forget to subscribe. See you later, guys.